The regional chamber and Youngstown Area Goodwill Industries have teamed up to assess local workforce needs. It's a survey which could find certain problems and address them. And that can benefit all of us. Census data has revealed three big problems in the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. Fewer people are working, they have less education, and more live in poverty compared to the state and national averages. The survey will try to determine why these stats lag other areas. In trying to figure out how we can overcome any barriers that are keeping them from employment and trying to keep get them back into the workforce. It could be transportation, child care, elder care, even language barriers which need improving. Goodwill wanted to be involved as it was assessing its role across the valley. We found a win-win here that we're going to get information that's going to help us with our programming and our future goals and strategic initiatives as well as helping the community at large. The information gained from the assessment will lead to discussion about meaningful change through action plans. That will help grow the local workforce and strengthen the Youngstown, Warren and Mercer areas. And so we seek to provide programs and opportunities and initiatives to help remove those barriers so that they can enter the workforce. The regional chamber has expressed a desire to grow the population and expand the workforce. It can't just do that by bringing in people from outside the area. It has to attract workers and keep the best talent here. That way, the Valley wins. You know, we can see into the future that there's going to be a lot of, of new growth. But if we can't staff those companies, then nobody wins. Now, if you'd like to take the survey and provide your input, you can. I've put the link inside this story on the WKBN app and website. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.